there is evil everywhere. Unknown to most humans, the world is ruled and directed by supernatural forces beyond their comprehension. Vampires and werewolves see humans as pawns in an endless battle for control. All of this is hidden from humanity. Vampire feedings are explained as gang violence. Werewolf attacks explained as animal mauling. But now a mysterious force has imbued a chosen few humans with not just the knowledge of the evil, but with the power to do something about it. These imbued have become hunters. Spencer Deuce Wyatt Creed, Avenger. Avengers tear down the supernatural, one creature at a time. Samantha Alexander, Creed, Defender, protectors of the innocent and naive. Father Esteban Cortez, Creed, Judge. Judges ensure that justice is served. Cassandra Chayam, Creed, Martyr. Martyrs are willing to sacrifice themselves for the cause. Avenger, Defender, Judge, Martyr, Hunters. Those rare mortals who seek to take back the night from age-old horrors. Hunter, The Reckoning. Last year, convicted serial killer Nathaniel Arcady was scheduled to die by electrocution. Things did not go according to plan. They call this the imbuing. When everything you've ever known becomes a lie. The secret is laid bare, and the truth is revealed. There it stands in all its unholy glory, evil personified and presented for hideous edification. Monsters exist, and they are everywhere. Of all the people present that day, only the four of us could see. See the guards for the monsters they were. And see the dead rise from the depths of Ashcroft prison to take their revenge. In the end, we managed to push the creatures back and finally lock them away in the prison. No one would ever have to disturb them again. Or so we hoped. On the anniversary of Nathaniel Arcady's execution, the spirits were reawakened. No longer content to stay within the walls of Ashcroft, this time, they unleashed their anger and hatred against the entire town. And so, we've come back, just as we promised. Back to where it all began, and our lives ended. We hunt.
Thanks for the hand. Don't know how much good it'll do, though. Those riots may have quieted down since last night, but that rail's the only way out of this town, and it's not going nowhere. What do you need to clear the track? Me? It's gonna take damn near 50 people working non-stop to get this thing going. If you can find me some help, it'll go faster. I'll do what I can. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> I'll find her, I promise. Now go.
That's right. Over here, ugly. Torture to death. They're funny that way. 
Arcady's execution tore a hole into the land of the dead and unleashed every pissed off convict that died in that place since 1931. I know you four think you actually accomplished something last year, but the truth is, they went back to sleep on their own. There was no one left for them to kill. That was, of course, until this. So now they're out again, but this time they want everybody dead. The only way to stop them permanently is to find the person or thing responsible for making that hole and break them. If you do that, every rot in this town will be immediately and violently evacuated back to the other side. But any living person not 20 miles out of town dies with them. No favorites, no exceptions. The girl, her parents, everyone will die. Instantly. You get it now? No second chances and no room for your stupid prejudice.
There's a way through this door.
Kaylee, where have you been? Are you alright?
That's right. Don't take no shit from anybody's stuffed animal. I think it's time you explain who you really are. Carpenter, if you have to call me something, you can call me Carpenter. I checked out the prison, and someone's trying their damnedest to keep people out. You won't get through the gates. Luckily, I know a secret or two. My apologies. It ain't the prettiest way, but it'll get you inside.
has a weapon to kill her.
way through this door.
Get out of our home. You've spilled enough blood in here. Leave me be. Tell me how to send the ghosts back. You were here when Arcady was executed. Just as I was. He's still there. Haunting death row. I can't get anywhere near him or do anything about it. He's your link. Now go. You're lying. Now maybe I didn't make myself perfectly clear. Does this jolt your memory? You don't seem to understand. They came in here. They killed my family. They made me into this thing. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I had no choice! I have nothing left to lose. Welcome to eternity.
There's a way through this door. There's a way through this door.
off your minds?
know there's a way through this door.
there's a way through this door. There's a way through this door.
you people!
there's a way through this door.
Too soon! Too soon! How does he expect me to be finished in time if he allows me to be interrupted? Can you tell me that? Can you? Of course not! <laughs> Stupid flesh bag! You know nothing! If you did, you would have left Adrian alone to do his work. But you did not. You have disturbed me! Now, I will disturb you.
to be. Oh.
What are you doing here? I was always, you know, a tough guy. I'd been cut up, shot, and thought I knew what pain was. That weasley little son of a bitch vampire showed me how wrong I was. I spent two years locked up in this hole, and I don't know what was worse. Cowering in my cell at night, praying the warden and his blood-sucking partners wouldn't want to feed on me, or listening to Hadrian giggle like a little girl while he tortured us and took notes. You needed us to get inside. You used us. Save it. You want it in, I got you in. This place is filled with more angry specters than you could possibly imagine. We spent years as human cattle for Degenhard and his friends, and when we were no good for that, we were lab rats for Hadrian. The only reason I came back was to give Hadrian what he deserved. Four days of never-ending pain. So I used you to get to him. We all got what we wanted. You don't have to worry about him anymore, Carpenter. Hadrian won't be torturing anyone anymore. Dead? Hadrian's dead? But I'm still here. You killed him? You killed him? Do you have any idea what it takes to get back here? Twice? He was mine! And you, you sheep, you stole him from me! Thank <laughs> you. 
Get up, Arcady. You have a lot of questions to answer. You shouldn't be here. I've already killed too many people. Why are you making me do this? I think you should get out of that chair. Then we'll go someplace less possessed and talk about this. It's too late. You should have left when you had the chance. Now things are going to become very messy. I hate messy.
move, Arcady. I swear to God, if you even twitch, I'm blowing your damn head off. You don't understand. Last time was an accident. It wasn't my fault. This time someone did it on purpose. The rave opened the hole again. Who would do something like that? Unless... Maybe you should think about the person who had the most to gain from the other side. The Warden's not dead. It was a trick. He was keeping us busy. The hole doesn't close until they all go back. Do you understand? If the Warden binds his family's souls to new bodies, it will turn the entire city. You need to stop that selfish bastard before it's too late.
I wanted was my life back. But you could not give me one chance at happiness, could you? I could have had them recreated just as they were, but you destroyed the vessels Hadrian made for them. Now I have to put their souls into these people instead. That doesn't matter to you, does it? Does it? All you care about is your damned hunt! The real tragedy is that you actually think you can make a difference. You're throwing pebbles at giants. Is this really how you want to spend the last moments of your life? No matter what your gifts, you're still only human. I am eternal. <laughs>